Hey, what's up, dudes? Um, uh, well, this is the, uh, the latest and greatest uh, Yokomo has to offer. Um, this car was just released um, in uh, late 2021. Um, this is way more modern than any of my other cars. Um, this is the Yokomo uh, 834B. Um, nah, I'm just joking. Um, so yeah, uh, this this sucker just arrived today, um, and I just want to post a quickie. Um, literally just got it out of the box a little while ago. Um, you see, this thing is pretty much uh, pristine. You can tell it's probably had a run or two. Tires are a little, they look to be a little smoothed out to me. Um, that might be an, a, like a new repro body. Um, I can't really tell, but it, it was cut out real nice. So got really no work to do there. Um, getting this body on and off is a little bit of a, of a chore um maybe it's because i don't know what i'm doing but sort of a little tricky uh anyhow um so this car yeah you can see there yz834b you guys have all seen these before i've never seen one in person um uh and I, although it's a lot different than any of the other, you know, from, I guess, the 870C on, um, I guess this is kind of the grandfather uh, for as far as four-wheel drive off-road racing um, goes. I don't know exactly what year this came out, but um, this would have been one of the, one of the first one ten scale four-wheel drive buggies, I would imagine. Um, what do we got here? You got uh, a chain drive, um, kind of, you know, the car reminds me a lot of the Kyosho Rocky, the way it's laid out. You know, you got a, like a gearbox in the back and then a sprocket from front to rear. Now, chain would be on the opposite side on the Rocky. Got a mono, sh mono shock in front, kind of like the standard Rocky. Although this has mono shock in the rear as well. This whole, this whole kind of camber link setup is pretty cool. Uh, most of the ones I see on eBay are set up with, uh, I guess, converted. Um, I don't know if the if this car was sold with a dual shock conversion in the rear. If that was just something you had to add yourself. Um, seems like it's pretty standard to see at least two in the back. Um, I've seen the two in the front tend to be um, kind of like RC10 or associated shocks um, that were used with this. But again, maybe that was maybe that was kind of like a, a common conversion. Um, I'm not going to change anything about this car other than add some electronics. Um, was that little guy? BNR bullet. Um, it's not a brand new motor, but uh, seems to be in pretty good shape. Had that one for a little bit. Uh, put that in there. Then, of course, the old, you know, cheapo stuff. But yeah, um, any anyhow, as as far as my history with this car goes. I don't know why it's been on my bucket list. Um, I've been searching for one of these. It seems like every time there's one that's in good shape, um, uh, like as always, I've already blown my allowance, RC allowance on something else. Uh, this one just popped up at the right time and doesn't appear to have been molested by anyone. Um, again, I know almost nothing about the car, but this certainly appears to be uh, pretty much bone stock, and that's the way I wanted it. Um, 
the I don't know if this is standard too maybe you guys can let me know um, it appears to have one-way um, hubs in the front and also it does appear to have a spool in the front as opposed to a diff not certain about that because we got a we definitely got a diff in the back but this guy is that, am I wrong? Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe there is a maybe there is a diff in the front. Anyhow, maybe one of you guys can let me know. Uh, the other thing, I'm not really sure what size pinion would be uh, kind of standard or suitable for this car. So maybe somebody wants to chime in on that as well. Um, I just want something stock. I don't want this thing um, hauling ass. Not like I'm running anything fast in here to begin with. But yeah, man, I just wanted to share this thing with you guys. Um, it's a very unique buggy. Uh, again, uh, there's quite a bit of uh, quite a few videos on YouTube of of this car, but I thought this was kind of nice because. Um, I think this is just about what it would look like out of the box. Um, and if I recall, I don't know how much of the car was built, but you may have bought this one completely assembled from the factory. I do, I do. It seems like I recall seeing some box, you know, some open boxes where the car was built, at least the most of the chassis and drive chain, drive train, drive chain, drive train. Um, so yeah, we'll get this guy, uh, fitted with some electronics and, uh, maybe, um, I know it sounds awful, but I might paint, paint this guy up. Um, gonna go to the store and get the proper paint for it and, uh, see if we can get a, get a nice little run. Um, I'm searching for a new place to drive cars. I don't think the baseball field across the street is going to be of use to me. Uh, actually, I don't think I'll be able to break onto the new turf field. Um, but yeah, so. All right, man. Uh, I'll be back soon. We did get the uh, Yankee Electra all ready for a run. So hopefully I'll be able to take this one and that one out for a run at the same time. All right. Talk to you soon. Later, dudes.